Here's a scary thought. A new study finds more than 22 million Americans starting as young as 12 are using some sort of illicit drugs and kids are good at hiding the stuff. Now private companies are offering room by room drug sweeps so parents can determine if their children are stashing drugs in their home. Mike Holfield is live in Orange County tonight. And Mike, these dogs for hire are becoming extremely popular, right? Yeah, it's the rage across the country. Hi, everyone. You know, I came home and I thought about it. What would I do? What would you do if you thought your kids were hiding drugs? Where would you look? Would you go under the cushions? I don't know, between the pages of the magazine, uh, the ottoman, and, of course, the room. A lot of parents wouldn't know where to begin. So what they're doing is, as Gard just told you, is they're hiring these canine companies. Does it work? Well, we took a ride with one of them to find out. It seems widespread. Chris Kapora is about to make a house call. We don't know the exact drug it is. We just know that the drug is either there or it was there. Kapora is in the drug detection business. He's a certified canine handler for hire. And this is how he works. Oh, yeah. In a matter of minutes, Kapora and his three-year-old German shepherd, Tina, make a room-by-room -room sweep of a home, DEA style. Check. Check. Watch. When Tina sits, she's picked up the drug scent, and she doesn't budge. <laughs> the over-the-top praise is all part of the routine, a reward to keep the canine at the top of her game. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a good girl. <laughs> now, she'll hit on the scent or the drug itself. It doesn't necessarily mean there's a drug there. But the drug trail confirms any parent's suspicions. The catch? They paid for the drug sweep. Everything remains confidential. This isn't to uh, put somebody in jail. We're here to educate, not incarcerate. To be clear, no drugs were ever used for this story. We're using so-called pseudo-drug packs designed to match the scent of the real thing. Come. The canines are trained for drug enforcement agencies using those packet kits. If drugs have been hidden, they'll hit on ecstasy, cocaine, marijuana, heroin, and methamphetamine. I think my son or my daughter might be. Could yes. Check the house. Yes, we found uh, they're acting weird. I found something that doesn't look right. I don't even know what it is. All right. Or where it is. Experts tell us kids will hide drugs in sneakers, in a clothes basket, in the corner of a room, even the wheel well of the family car. Watch, we planted a drug scent packet in this laundry room. Okay, she comes in, she's on something right now. As soon as she came in the door. Remember that sneaker? She's on something. That took, what, less than 15 seconds? Good girl, that's a good girl. <laughs> we give this information to the parents, and what happens is uh, they can move forward on it. They can call the rehabs, and the rehabs are better suited to direct them in what direction they should go in. And usually... And you know, guys, a lot of those conversations will happen right here at the kitchen table. And I told you earlier tonight, we were looking at where the kids hide the drugs. Two of the ones that really surprised me, they'll use candy wrappers. They'll take the candy out, put the drugs in, and then resale, or ra rather reseal the wrapper. That surprised me. Highlighters, they'll put the drugs in the cap. Parents would never think to look there. I know I wouldn't. I got a bunch more on ClickOrlando.com. Canines, a very fascinating concept, and a lot of parents are going to it. Back to you. Wow, that's amazing how accurate that dog is. Mike, how much does it cost to actually bring a canine into your home? I'm sure a lot of parents are wondering that. It's about $199 for an 1,800-square-foot home, but I'm told they're also doing now schools and small businesses. Interesting concept, a lot of people turning to it, and it can help a lot of kids in the long run. Back to you. All right, great story. Thank you, Mike. Wow, Tina was tough. I was German just about to say, Tina was... She's on her game. She was on it. Yeah, I like that, the good girl. Yeah, that, that praise.